today's the day. We're going to put this on there. So I'll just leave the camera there. You can watch me do it. Okay, so we got a little package from Mr. Brown the other day. And, uh, got a, like, bushed pulley here. And if you've never seen QD or QT bushing, there it is. It's a tapered bushing, as is the hole in the spring. Pulley. Two of these screws will push it, you know, when you tighten up the bolts, will pull it in and tighten it out in the shaft. Two of these are jacking bolts for when you want to remove it. You can screw the bolts in there and jack this, this tapered bushing out of there. So, This little step pulley is going away and we're going to have a belt one to one coming up here. Um, you know, it'll get rid of my height problem, which is this idler pulley hitting my bracket. It will also eliminate one belt, which will give me a little less friction, a little more power to the spindle. So, um, yep, that's the next little project we got to do on the wrong foo. But we got all the pieces, and well, we got all the hard pieces. I'm gonna have to, once I get this thing put on here, I'm gonna have to measure up the uh, the belt length and get a belt for it. So that's the plan on that. I got the motor pulley off. I had to employ a puller to do it. And uh, I would have been standing in front of the camera the whole time. So she's off of there. And now we're gonna try our little pulley. Take a file to the shaft. It's got some boogers on, boogers on it. Okay. After
Just some rhinacillin and some finagling and some filing. I got this thing ready to go. So, a couple things about these bushings. Um, there's a torque spec on them. You have to be real careful to not exceed that torque spec. The torque spec on this bushing is 9 foot pounds, which works out to 108 inch pounds, which is what this wrench reads in. So I get this set to 100. It's also important that you don't put any lubrication on this thing, otherwise you'll over torque it and you'll break it. So with that, here we go. Okay, it's pulling it up now. Okay, hit the torque spec there. Okay, it's torque, it's on. Motor's tight, everybody's happy. All I gotta do is uh, measure for a belt. And um, we'll be good. So, I guess um, I'll see you when I get the belt. Okay, my wrong foo is done. My uh, belt came today, and uh, we got it on there. So, uh, what this mod allows me to do is get a ton more clearance. So right now it's down, yeah, it's within a quarter of an inch of how low it goes. I'm going to show you how high it goes now. I don't have to worry about that pulley in my bracket. That's pretty crazy. So I'm pretty happy with that. Um, So I got a couple things to do. I got to uh, I got to adjust this bracket here so that the uh, the rod's vertical, and that just requires a lot of this kind of stuff. Um, and I got to uh, put the tack on it and calibrate the VFD. I got a little uh, reflective sticker up here. And, you know, we changed the ratio a little bit, so I'll have to calibrate that VFD right now. Um, I don't even know what the ratio used to be. It was some kind of crazy thing, but it uh, worked out good. Plenty of clearance. There's plenty of uh, adjustability for the belt. The belt's nice and tight. Um, I like 